Harvest for the Hungry is a statewide campaign. Uh, it's also called Kids Helping Kids in that it's a way that all students, kindergarten through senior year, can help their community. Well, I think Harvest for the Hungry is a program that's been organized by uh, the state and county to try to feed uh, or to help those people in the, in the county, for example, uh, who are uh, in need. The Maryland Food Bank is an amazing organization that helps people right in our home states. Uh, as many students and all teachers here know, uh, Harvest for the Hungry meant so much to Bruce Blackman. Bruce Blackman meant a lot to me. He still means a lot to me. So, uh, you know, carrying on his legacy through winning Harvest for the Hungry and inspiring kids to donate to such an amazing charity was, was the biggest honor I could ever get. We may think that everybody is comfortable and living the way they should be able to live. Um, but unfortunately things happen and a lot of families are in need. Before teaching at Severna Brock High School, um, I taught at schools that were considered high needs. So these were schools that had a high population of students who either lived below the poverty line or just didn't have the basic needs that they needed um, to be successful in everyday life. Food is one of the basic needs. If you don't have food, then how can you expect kids to come to school and want to learn? How can you expect people to have the energy to go out and get jobs? I had a lot of students who would come to class hungry. Um, they would not eat breakfast and some of those students maybe didn't even have dinner the night before. When I noticed that a student um, was not quite themselves, um, I would offer them snacks. I kept a whole drawer of snacks in my room. It was really amazing how just a little bit of food helped them feel so much better. There are so many things that you can do besides bringing in cans of green beans, although we do like the green beans. To help those in hunger in Maryland, um, I have a strong belief that those who have more than they need have a duty to help those who don't. Everybody sh should contribute to Harvest of the Hungry um, by donating to me. Also can be instrumental by building school spirit um, through the program that you guys are going to be using. They can also bring in money. Um, money is awesome because one dollar equals eight pounds of food. If they have spare change at home, um, you know, if they ask people for donations, if they go through their pantry and, you know, bring in things that perhaps they're not going to eat, everything can go to, go to use somehow, even if it's a small amount. I was able to inspire my students to donate so much money and to bring in so many food items just by telling them the story of Bruce Blackman, uh, telling them about how he inspired me as a person, as a teacher, as an individual. In honor of him, the classroom that has the highest donation will receive the Bruce Blackman Award. Harvest for Hungry starts October 1st and runs through the 30th of October. So let's think of all of October is going to be Harvest for the Hungry Month. Donate for Harvest for the Hungry! Oh, didn't see you there. Don't forget to donate to Harvest for the Hungry!